Hello, I'm Jack Lamore. Welcome to Campus News for Monday, May 1st. May Day, also known as International Workers' Day, is today. In the United States, this holiday signifies the fight for labor rights. This year, Churla will be marching for millions of undocumented immigrants living in this country that have yet to receive in citizenship and full inclusion. If you wish to join, please contact your student leader. This latest edition of HW's environmental newsletter, The Leaf, has released. It includes brand new environmental initiatives on campus, such as a water conservation effort, the installment of hydroponic towers, and various sustainability tips and tricks. For more information, please contact Nadine Eisenkolb at neisenkolb at hw.com. On Friday, May 5th, the middle school will be hosting its annual spring instrumental concert, One Voice, a celebration of community. The following groups will perform. Middle School Symphony of Company with the Madrigals, Symphonic Band, Concert and Beginning Band, and the Combined String Ensemble. This concert takes place this Friday, at the 5th, in the Saperstein Theater on the Middle School campus at 7 p.m. We hope to see you there. As the end of the year approaches, many Harvard Westlake programs have announced leadership for the new year. The slide has elected their new co-chairs, Cole Hall, Leila Dowdy, Ella Jacobs, and Sabine Kong. Peer Support has announced their new cohorts, Jordan Dees, Casey Rimes, Stella Stringer, and Olivia Baradarn. Newly elected head prefects are Barry LeBerry and Davis Marks. We look forward to seeing what the new leadership brings to the community. Harvard Westlake students are known for their passion and drive on the athletic field. But what happens when injuries get in the way and they can no longer participate in their favorite sport? Reporter Rohan Amin tells us about one HW student he found another activity to channel his competitive spirit. Harvard Westlake sophomore Nate Verney is on the debate team and is having success, but his passion wasn't always debate. I think like when I was four or three years old, I started playing basketball, going to clinics, and then I started playing club when I was around seven. And I kept playing because at a really early age, I was really good and I enjoyed it. However, Verney faced the difficulty of injuries starting at a young age. My first serious injury that led to more injuries started um, winter of sixth grade. And I rolled my ankle on my right foot, and what happened was I broke the bone on the side of my right foot, known as the fifth metatarsal. So I broke um, my bone on my right foot. I proceeded to break the same bone on my left foot from rolling my ankle. Then I broke um, a bone in the middle of my foot on my left foot. Then I sprained my ankle for three months straight. Then I broke, had a stress fracture on my right foot, a tiny bone in the middle of my foot. Then I broke my hand and then I rolled my ankle again. Despite these injuries, Bernie's passion for basketball allowed him to stay strong mentally. But I had the can-do attitude. I'm gonna get right back into it. I'm gonna do everything I, I can. And then I would re-break it again and I would be right back where I started. And it was just this horrible cycle. Coming back from injuries is challenging, not just physically, but also psychologically. And having, working your way back after one injury, after another, getting in shape, coming back into the physical shape, skill shape, and then to the competitive level that you once were is just very tough. Verney's positive attitude was hard to maintain as injuries kept on coming, leading him to face a harsh reality. My, my dad actually came to me who had been like super supportive through the entire thing and was always like, we can do it, we're gonna be in this together, just like follow the protocol, you're gonna get through this. He was like, you know what, maybe it's time that you stop. The one thing Verney found passion in had been taken away, but this did not stop him from pursuing and finding a new love. I was out for basketball for a while because I ended up re-breaking it for a while and I just got really, really passionate about debate. I was a super, super great debater in fifth and sixth grade. I won the first place trophy at four of the five tournaments um, for like the debate league. Definitely ninth grade and especially now 10th grade, I've really, really gotten serious about it and I just, I love the sport. For Verney, debate was an outlet that combined many of his strengths. Debate allows me to kind of like explore like another realm of passion that I really, really enjoy, which is just like kind of thinking, analyzing, speaking. And many times he expressed the fact that debate reminds him of sports as a competition of intellectuals. Verney hopes his success in debate will lead him to pursue something in the future with similar skills to debate. The thing about debate is that even if you don't go into a job like being a lawyer or I guess being a debate coach or being some kind of negotiator, 
it's really, really applicable to almost every avenue of job that you can do of some sort. Not being able to do what you love takes a toll on anyone, but Vernie was able to find a new passion. He and his dad created his will to compete in finding a new purpose in his life. He wants to take it in the brawl, and whether it's an intellectual brawl or physical, that's fine by him. I'm always going to push myself, and when there's somebody else next to me competing, I'm always going to be competing against them to be better. For Campus News, I'm Rohan Amin. In sports, many varsity spring teams have completed their regular seasons and are competing in team and individual league postseason competitions. Later today, boys baseball will announce their first round playoff game. Check the HW Athletics page for a game day and time. If it's a home game, look for it to be covered by HWTV. Congrats to Athletic Director Scott Bello, who's leaving Harvard Westlake to become Director of Athletics at Polytechnic School in Pasadena. On May 11th, the Harvard Westlake Middle School Dodgeball Tournament will conclude with the championship game. The tournament has been going on for two months now, and the middle school community has been enjoying it more than ever. The championship game will be streamed live on HWTV, and reporter Bill Coleman will have more details on the history of the tournament in our next newscast. That's this week's Campus News. I'm Jack Lamore. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in two weeks.